we are out here in our boneyard shed trying to revive the all-wheel drive go-kart we're getting ready for a christmas special we're doing it at a friend's place and he said his yard is muddy and we've been looking for an excuse to pull this thing back out again four engines four torque converters four chains uh heavy heavy duty stuff and we don't want to have to push it so ike is filling it up with fuel we're gonna try to ride it back dude first pull look at that that is awesome <laughs> two for two First this, is, pull, dude. this is why you use ethanol free gas. Yes, it is. And How that's long why has you... this thing been sitting in here? Look at the uh, seat. Over a year. Yeah, over yeah, a year. It's been over a year. Oh, thank you. You left a couple little stripes, but it'll be fine. All right, dude, I'm going to see if this one runs. Engine number three? Yeah, engine number three. If this one runs, then all we have to do is work on that one. Oh, the choke wasn't on. All right, all right. We're doing the first pull over again. Okay. That counts. Yeah. So we're three for four. All we need to do is put a cover on that. And see what happens. Yes. This thing is 30% one and a quarter inch tubing, 30% thick plate and 40% engines for Predator 212s with torque converters. We had grand plans of making them all stage one to get about 40 horsepower out of the setup, but stock was good enough for us. Our biggest problem is the how much you have to turn the steering wheel to uh, uh, yes. turn the wheel. The Volkswagen Passat steering rack, of that, course. <laughs> that, was, uh, that, that was my fault right there. I kind of figured, uh, I don't know if John's ever driven a front wheel drive car with a lot of horsepower, but there's a lot of torque steering stuff. So I was thinking if we had a rack and pinion with multiple turns on the steering wheel, it would be easier to uh, steer. Fight the torque steer. Yeah. yeah, fight the torque steer, exactly. And I, I might have been wrong. I mean, it doesn't really torque steer. It doesn't and torque steer. that could be because of the rack. It could be because we of the don't rack, know. but it is so scary at speed. What do you think the top speed is? It was only like 35, but that was plenty. I'm going to say 30 to 35. Well, we're going to find out again. Uh, all right, dude, so let's put that cover on this engine, see if it'll run, clean her up, and check her over real good to see if we're good to go for tomorrow. Then we're going to go for a rip. So we bought some new pull cord and we're in the middle of replacing it. Cool. Turned over a couple times. Is the cord a little short on that? The cord, cord? is a little short, yeah. Hmm. Ike's just giving it a little bit of help. <laughs> there it is. Alright, I drove over here with the rear end. Should I put the uh, front engine right around with the fronts? I mean, just run it on the front. This one engaged the start. We need to work on the uh, sinking. Okay. <laughs> I mean, you gotta admit, like, as flawed and as crazy as it is, it looks cool. <laughs> Front wheel drive burnouts, dude. Yeah, it was doing that. You know, if we wanted to do anything else, probably, all right, number one would be something to support the steering wheel because you fall out of this thing when you try to go around corners. Yeah. So for the steering support, we're gonna stick with the one and a quarter thick pipe for this upward support. And then I'm gonna cut a smaller piece, cut it down the middle, 
and sandwich the steering shaft and that's how we're gonna mount it. Oh, that's gonna work, man. Yep. That's not bad, dude. That's, that's, that's perfect. Let's finish up welding. It's a little tight. It's like we went from uh, power steering to manual steering, but over time it'll wear. No big deal. But uh, it's solid now. It looks pretty solid. I don't even see it moving. No, definitely gonna be able to uh, hold on to this for dear life. It's almost ready for a ride, and Ike just has to replace a seal on one of the fuel tanks. It's really interesting to see the condition of all four of these Predators given that they've been stored the same amount of time and they have pretty much the same hours on them. Three out of four cranked up with no problems. The fourth one cranked up with a little bit of help from a little extra gasoline. And it's just weird that one of the seals on one of the engines on the fuel tank went bad and the others are fine. It's just interesting to see all the same conditions they've been stored and now that we're running them again, kind of the differences between them, how they've aged individually. There we go. Bam. All right, buddy. Let's do a final throttle check. All right, well, these front ones seem to be synced and they're going to idle. Uh, this left side seems to be perfectly synced. Hit it again. This rear right one seems to be starting before the others, but I, I think that's on purpose because usually the rear right tires kind of lift up a little bit and spin on cars. Right. And, you know, we're, we're yeah. Totally the same applies here. Yeah, absolutely. Well, dude, you know what it's time for? Uh, time to load it up on the trailer and take it somewhere? No, dude, we got to do a Grand Prix lap. Not me. I'm gonna do a Grand Prix lap. I just wanna put on camera right now. I in no way approve of taking it on the Grand Prix today because of all the mud and stuff. So when you go to digging trenches and stuff, it wasn't me. It's only I a little said, wet. It's I said wet. not to. It's heavy. It is a it is beast. <laughs> Engine number one. Ignition. Choke.
little a little wet over there. Uh, yeah, I told you. Dude, we gotta do something about the seating position here, man. I keep falling out of it, or sliding down. I keep ending up like that. The tie strap, the straps. Ratchet straps? Yeah. You think that'll keep me from sliding down? Yep. All right. What do you think your time was? Oh, it was the slowest by far of any lap. Those governors are killing it, aren't they? No, it was me falling out of it that was killing it. it oh, was really? It was all my fault, yeah. Oh. Yeah, I could have gone a lot faster. Oh. It was in the 40s probably, wasn't it? Yes. Oh, uh, yeah. So what was it? 48-34. Yeah, it's real slow. Gonna strap him in so when he flips it. Strap in so I can't escape what? Nothing. That's pretty tight. It'll probably work. That is a wild ride, dude. Out of everything we built, this may have been the most controversial, but it still delivers a very unique experience. That's pretty cool. And when's the last time you saw four engines on a go-kart? Buddy, this may be the sketchiest thing we ever built. You say that about everything. Something got launched. Something totally launched. I think I just saw a torque converter pulling it launched into the woods. You saw it fly? Yeah, I saw it fly all right, man. Where did, did it go over my phone or It went over there somewhere. Oh, I think I see it. <laughs> There's part of it. Yeah, it got launched. So we got out some rakes and we miraculously found all the pieces to the torque converter. And at the same time, we made a mammoth of a leaf pile. Like it never even happened. Oh yeah. You got half the pile on your lap, dude. I can see what you're making. That is hilarious, dude. He was moving. So the all-wheel drive cart is back in action. It's even more ridiculous than I remembered it being. We added some steering support for, you all right, buddy? Oh yeah, I'm good, I'm good. Just a little dirt in your nose? Yeah. We added steering support for a little extra bracing. It helps. It really needs a seat belt. There's some way of holding ourselves in the seat from like falling down into it. I wanna add that in a future episode and then I wanna do a real Grand Prix lap because I think it could be pretty fast. Leave us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video today, guys, and subscribe for more awesome content. Use our discount code CC10 at GoPowerSports.com for 10% off most products on their website. And if you want to help support us and what we do, pick up some of our shirts, hats, hoodies, t-shirts at cars-cameras.com and stickers. I think I said t-shirts twice. 
Um, Facebook, good. yeah, Facebook, Instagram at Cars and Cameras Reviews. Thanks for watching. We're gonna have a holiday special coming up for you next time. We'll see you then.